Good morning and welcome to another video. It's been a while since I actually created a video, but my Newfoundland videos and the images I captured there have been keeping me busy, so if you haven't seen any of those videos, check them out. Newfoundland was awesome uh, and I haven't really been out an awful lot since then. Uh, we, Lisa and I made a, a short trip to PEI, I got some nice images there. Um, not a lot of images, but I got a few. Got an image of the teacup rock before it fell over in a hurricane the week later. Uh, and I have been out around about the parks locally uh, with the camera. About a year ago I created a video called Practice. Get out and practice your landscape photography. And I think it's been my most successful video yet. It's got over 5,000 views. <laughs> uh, which for my channel that's uh, pretty good. So I thought I'd do something similar today. Uh, I've got the X-T30, I've got three lenses, I've got the 18-55, to 55, the 50-230, uh, to uh, which I've borrowed again, and uh, the Samyang 14mm, and I also have my Nikon EM 35mm uh, camera with me. Not sure if that's going to come out today or not, but it might. So, I'm just going to have my tea here, a donut, and then go for a walk and just uh, practice the art of photography. Probably going to do some ICM, some nice fall colours around, so I'll probably do a little bit of ICM. I just love the abstract images you can create. Uh, the golden colours of the ferns and the leaves, stuff like that. Leaves on the trees, the maples, the birch, uh, a whole array of different colours, so I'll do a bit of that. Oh, what a glorious morning. So guys, as you can probably tell, I'm back in Irish Town Nature Park. One of my favourite places this time of year. It's only local, only 10 minutes from home. Absolutely gorgeous. Sorry about my intro there, guys. Uh, I did get disturbed by a work crew that have showed up to do some work in the park this morning while I was recording, so I kind of cut it short. So what am I going to capture this morning, guys? Well, you know for sure there's going to be some ICM. I just love how you can create abstracts with the colours and the textures and the foliage and the trees, that type of thing. We'll see what else we can capture. There's a big old tree here, the oldest tree in the park I've photographed many times. And I think I've photographed it in every season. Um, some really nice winter shots of that tree. Uh, if the light's correct, I've got the right lighting, I'll certainly try and shoot that again. It's just around the corner here. And there it is, that big old pine tree there, surrounded by some maples by the looks of it, and some lovely colours. It's good to see that they, uh, they've actually cleaned that old tree up a bit. Uh, it was looking pretty sad, a lot of dead branches on it, and I thought it was going to be chopped down or fall down. But that'd be a shame. So I do have the 18-55 to 55, uh, on the X-T30. And I will try a couple of images with that lens, and then I'll probably change to the 50 to 230, I think, and see if I can get something a bit more intimate. We'll see. Uh, I don't think it's a wide angle shot, so I don't think I'll do the uh, Samyang. There's a tree in all its glory. What a beautiful old tree. As I say, I do have a lot of images of this tree, uh, but sooner or later that tree is going to be gone, so I'm going to get as many images as I can every time I visit here. Beautiful colour there this morning, some nice light, so I'm going to use the 18 to 55 see what I can capture with that and then I'll try one of the other lenses not sure if I'm going to go with the Samyang 14mm or the 50 to 230 I'm going to set up, grab a few shots, if it's any good it's on the screen so one of the features of the X-T30 is multiple exposure and I did say this video is going to be about practice so I'm going to combine multiple exposure with a bit of ICM uh, I've got the polarizer on the 18 to 55, and I'll just kind of move the camera in a random motion around here. Uh, probably around about eighth of a second. The experience tells me for this type of shot that's good with the polarizer. It is a little bit bright, so I may have to put the four stop on. I'll try a few without it first, and then we'll move further up. And I've seen some color up there, and we'll see if we can uh, repeat the same thing. Uh, multiple exposures and ICM. Again, if they're any good. They're going to be on the screen.
So guys, I did say the video was going to be about practice and that's certainly the case. Uh, I have used a couple of lenses already. Actually, I've used all three. Uh, but I stopped by the water there. I got some awesome reflections. Yeah, so I got some absolutely amazing reflections uh, just down on the other side of the tree there. It was really busy there. You can probably actually hear people launching their boats there now, their canoes and stuff, kayaks into the water. Um, so it got quite busy. But uh, just before they disturbed the water, I managed to fire off quite a few reflection shots with the 50 to 230 lens. Um, now I just focused on the water part. I didn't get anything above land, getting some really abstract images. Um, also did a few of those where I used a multiple exposure setting like I said I would and uh, I think they're going to be kind of cool. It almost looked like that zoom effect that you used to do years and years ago uh, with a telephoto lens. It kind of got the same effect um, but it looks really nice on the back of the camera so I'm hoping they'll turn out nice. Uh, what else did I do? I, did the, I put the Samyang 14mm Mark II lens on and uh, did a few of the tree, uh, did a few of a branch that was leaning over the water with some reflections in the background. We'll see how they turn out. Again, if they're any good, you're either going to see them on the screen now or at the end in the gallery. Stay tuned for that gallery. Hopefully there'll be some nice autumnal images for you. Uh, so practice, yeah. Practicing different lenses, practicing different camera uh, settings and a bit of technique as well. Um, with the ICM stuff. We'll go a bit further and see what we can find. It's just amazing. So peaceful in here. A bit noisy by the water with the people there, but uh, like I say, other people have the right to use the park as well. Um, it's just good to see people getting out and enjoying nature. Haven't done an awful lot in the way of ICM, but this is, this is a part of the, the forest that I usually get some nice ICM images. We'll try something different. I'm looking for a nice group of ferns or something that I can capture those golden tones and uh, maybe mix them up with the multiple exposures and see what I can come up with. See if I can get some nice, really arty, abstract stuff. And we'll add a bit of texture in, uh, in processing. I'll go for a walk, see what we can find. So guys, no sooner had I said that I didn't do much in the way of ICM, and I came across a piece here, uh, just right on the walking trail, just a few feet from where I last uh, was talking to the camera. Obviously there's been a tree that has fallen across the path here, and the workers have been uh, clearing the pathway. Probably a result of uh, Tropical Storm Fiona, which came through here a couple of weeks ago, and uh, a lot of trees are certainly down in the park. Obviously there was one down across the walkway here, um, and all these nice fresh leaves that have been left behind. Just, uh, I'll just let you see. You can probably see them right. You can probably see them right down here behind me here. So I did a couple multiple exposures, an ICM combination of those. Uh, this is what I'm looking at. They look quite good on the back of the camera again. If they're any good, they're going to be on the screen. Absolutely beautiful just walking through the park in the fall. Absolutely amazing. Look up, look down. There's images everywhere. And it really is important to get out and practice your photography. So guys, get out. Get out and practice. Practice with different lenses. Practice camera settings. Practice different techniques. Uh, like I said, today I've been doing ICM and multiple exposures combined instead of just the usual ICM stuff that I do. And uh, the results are pretty cool. Also did some regular shots, the tree, reflections. Look around for images. 
You don't have to go to far-flung locations. You don't need those epic locations. There's images all around you, absolutely all around you, at your feet, in the air above you, in the canopy of the trees, in the water, the reflections. Coming to the end of this trail here, it'll take me out just at the little bridge you've seen me shoot many, many times. And if I'm not mistaken, clear blue sky, sun, if we get the right angle, we might get some reflections again. I'll catch you back there. So guys, just look at these absolutely beautiful reflections, just like I was anticipating. Local knowledge, I guess. Um, yeah, just, just look at the reflections over here, guys. Right along the water's edge. Both sides of the bridge. Not so prominent on that side. So this video is about practice. So I'm going to take off the 18 to 55. Stick on the 50 to 230. Do a couple of regular shots but what I'm going to try and do is focus just on the water part not get any of the image above the water line in the shot just focus right on the reflections and as I say that the birds swim right into the reflections and spoil it <laughs> but yeah there's a really nice looking composition there and what I'm going to try and do is just a fairly short, slow shutter speed not too drastic, maybe again around about an eighth of a second, something like that. I'll give a little bit of movement in the water and give that reflection right there. And it's going to be kind of abstract. Then I'll probably do the same shot with the multiple exposure setting. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, I did that down at the other end of the park and it looked really cool. So we'll see what kind of effect I can get there. Going for one of those kind of a dreamy shots. I uh, don't want the water smooth kind of want a mixture of textures and patterns and colours in the water. We'll see what we can get. If it's any good, you know where it's going to be, on the screen or in the gallery. Just going to end the video there. Just did some reflection shots and some multiple exposures of the reflections like I said I would. Um, coming through the trail heading back towards the car now and I just spotted the sunlight hitting these ferns here and that's the first real big group of ferns that's got some nice golden colour and you try the same thing here multiple exposure and a bit of ICM and see what we come up with I'm also seeing lots of fungi starting to appear so I'm guessing there's going to be a fungi video coming up in the near future sun's just coming straight through here right onto here so hope it's not too bright at uh, ICM and you know slow shutter speed. I've got the polarizer on. May have to put the four stop on for this one as well. We'll give a couple of shots here. And then guys I'm gonna end the video there. So if this is any good, you're gonna see it in the gallery. Stay tuned for that gallery coming up. It's usually where I put the best shots. It's been a blast as always, guys. I'm gonna head back to the car now, get something to eat. Just want to say a big thanks to everyone who's subscribed to the channel lately, my Newfoundland videos. If you haven't seen them, check them out, but they've actually helped grow the channel a little bit, almost at 500 subscribers. See if this video can get me there. That would be awesome. Guys, really appreciate you coming on these journeys with me. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Cheers for now, and I'll see you in the next one.